All right. If you remember in an earlier step, we talked about this home base and outpost strategy. And we've been going over like how to how to build up that home base when we talk deeply about blogs. But um, in this step, we're going to be talking about organic distribution through social media. And I am not going to uh, pretend that we can cover the breadth of social media channels that are available from Facebook to LinkedIn to Pinterest to Instagram and all of the other things that that you can use to distribute your content to outposts. But I do want you to remember that there is um, there is this home base and outpost strategy where you are uh, creating content on that home base, distributing it on outposts with the intention of driving traffic from these outposts back into your home base. And especially at the top of the funnel, when you're distributing top of funnel content to these outposts, which is most of what you will distribute is top of funnel stuff. The stuff that doesn't have you know, overt offers in it, it certainly is not uh, the place out here on these outposts to be putting, you know, your high ticket offers and things like that. They're just not going to convert uh, out of, out of, off of your Facebook page or your Twitter account. Instead, you want to be putting top of funnel and some middle of funnel content on your outposts. So places like Facebook are great places to share blog posts and podcasts and photographs and you know primary research and all the things that you would create at the top of the funnel. And also a place where you can put things like lead magnets, you know, so your middle of funnel offers. And occasionally, occasionally out on an outpost, you could try to drive traffic out of an outpost back to a low ticket offer or a low barrier to entry offer. Uh, but, you know, those should be few and far between out here on the outposts. You should be using your outposts to drive uh, traffic at the top of the funnel back into your home base and then look to ascend people quickly from you know the top of the funnel content on your blog into a middle of funnel offer and then eventually down into the bottom of funnel. So I'm not telling you anything you don't know by giving you a list of all of these outposts, but let's take a look anyway. We've got you know sites like Twitter and LinkedIn and YouTube and Pinterest and Google Plus, uh, Instagram, SlideShare, Flickr. There are literally uh, hundreds of these different outposts and the last thing that I'll leave you with on the um, on the organic social media front, first of all, we do have an entire certification uh, about uh, organic social media and that will cover this in a lot in a lot more detail, but um, that you should look out for. And uh, but the last thing I, I will I will leave you with when it comes to organic social media is don't try to be everywhere doing all things, all right? So when it comes to things like lead generation and selling um, and generating traffic at the top of the funnel, you really should pick a couple, depending on your the size of your organization and the size of your team and the amount of budget and bandwidth and everything you have, um, you know, certainly if you are a solo entrepreneur or run a very small business, you really can't be everywhere trying to generate leads at the top of the funnel, you know, forcing... Uh, trying to get traffic over to your site um, on all of these different outposts. That said, the other way to consider you know, activity out on the outposts is if your business is of any size, there are conversations going on at each one of these outposts likely about your company and business. And at the very least, you should be sort of answering the telephone on these outposts. So you may not use Twitter as a place to try to drive traffic. It just might not fit your organization or or what have you. But you should be occasionally checking Twitter for complaints and praise and um, just anybody that's directly reaching out to. And you should have a presence on the outpost. 
but it doesn't necessarily mean that you need to be out there distributing content constantly and trying to build up a community and driving traffic back into your home base from that particular channel. But I would advise you, if your business is of any size, to make sure that you're at least sort of answering the social telephone on the major networks like Twitter and Facebook and LinkedIn and YouTube and so forth. Because there are people talking about you. They are um, you know, creating content about you. It doesn't mean you have to be over there um, you know, spending too much time and trying to build a community on that on that outpost, uh, I would select a, a a a few places to actually try to build a community. Maybe one, two, three. You know, depending on the size of your organization. Um, but the rest of them, just make sure that you're present and that you are at least uh, sort of answering the phone over there on those different outposts. So with that, let's move on to the next step.